Oh, it's time for some Minotaur action, baby. We got some Beastmen taking on the Skaven in the back line over there. But before we get into that, let's just go take a quick look at what the Beastmen are bringing. They got Morgher, the Shadowgrave, who is, well, I've learned the hard way that he is pretty damn powerful. Got some uh, Chaos Spawn over here. Plenty of Ungor Herds and Ungor Spearmen Herds and all the good stuff that you'd expect to see. Plus some Senegors over here on the western side of this map. And on the eastern and on the eastern flank, what do we see? We see actually some more of the same Chaos Spawn plus some more Ungor Herds. Now let's check out what the Skaven got going on. They got plenty of tools over here. They got some Warp Lining Cannons. They got a couple of Hellpit Abominations. They even got a, who is this? Is that a Grace here? That is a Grace here Plague on his massive mount as well, plus some good backline tools with all these Poison Wind Mortars. And I believe that this game is going to be off to a smashing start with some Regiment of Renown, Plague Monsters Bears, which I definitely want to keep an eye on throughout this game as that unit always seems to really do special stuff, I feel like. And Anyways, uh, Senegor is going to get out to an early lead out over here on the western flank of this map, depending upon which, which vantage point that you're looking at it, but uh, but going in from the Beastmen's, that will be the western flank, of course, as the Ungor Herds meet up with the Skaven Slave Spears. Now, the Ungor should, or sorry, the Gore Herds should definitely take that one up. No problem there. Of course, Ungor Herds over here going to be supported by some Regiment of Renown uh, uh, Minotaurs as well as a Smash of the Clan Rats being helped out by the Chariot from their Bray Shaman as well. And so far, an early break in favor of the Beastmen as they encroach in on the forces of the Skaven. Now, the Skaven are going to be breaking and coming back plenty of times, as you typically do expect. But the question is, can they be using all their very high-powered tools to their advantage, of which they do have some very, 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 very important Storm Vermin uh, Council Guard Regiment now over here supporting the Warp Lightning Cannons, which are currently actually obstructed. Now, where exactly are they targeting right now? That is a real question. I guess nowhere or into this mass of troops, if anything. While the duel... I. Uh, again, count them two, one, two, help at abominations, try to fend off and break down this attack from the Regiment of Renown Minotaurs, plus all these Gore Herds and uh, and, uh, and and Ungors as well. Chaos Spawn going to be summoned in, and they are going to take the brunt of the fire from the Hell of Abominations, while the rest of the Beastmen do go to and fro as they uh, rally and break and rally and break. Over on the western flank, though, the Beastmen looking incredibly well, actually, with an overwhelming force taking out these warp, these warp Grinders, plus these Clan Rapid Spears here as well. And that is going to force the enemy back and going to allow them to open up the whole western side of this uh, of this attack into the back line of the Skaven. Now, the Skaven have put into motion their their uh, their Plague Pack, Regiment of Renown, Plague Monk Sets of Barrows right here, of which they are going to be beat up by a summoned unit of Chaos Spawn. Not the best uh, not the best engagement for them, really. Really wanted to get them into the mainline battle with all those Ungor and Gore Herds. That would have been excellent for them. Meanwhile, the Storm Vermin are going to be a little bit surrounded on their own as they do take on the center is a great target for them, but now with the Chaos Spawn and the Ungor Herd surrounding them, they're going to be in an uphill battle as we go to the cinematic view for this one. Now, with that in mind, the backline uh, missile support for the Beastmen are going to get some nice lines of fire into the big old targets of the uh, Skaven, of course, here too. And the Skaven are going to be able to take down this unit of, of, uh, of Ungor Raiders. No problem, of course, and that is going to allow them to get a nice early win as well. But with the rest of the lines completely breaking in favor of the Beastmen, I don't really think that the Skaven's tools or what's left of their tools is going to be enough to push back. The bounce power is also taking a nice little shift in their favor as well. And with all of these major units really under pressure early, even one of those Hellpit Abominations already breaking off, and he will come back to battle, obviously. He's already back in battle. Uh, but I just don't think that they have enough around here. We're going to summon down a, a unit of Clan Rats as they get into these Ungor Spearmen Herd on the other side. And there are a few tools left, a few tools left. But looking at just the impression force of the beastmen kind of going to and fro they really took an advantage of the matchups on the western and eastern flank and kind of gave up the middle a little bit even though they that they did have a, a strong strong attacking force there uh somehow the skaven uh were, were were repelling them right there but really on the other sides they gave up a lot and that allowed the beastmen to just completely converge on the back line for the skaven and uh and that was a quick story unfortunately for the skaven but with this battle still raging on what can we expect well we we should take a quick look at the Hellbit Abominations over here. The dual uh, Hellbit Abominations really punching their weight right now as it's just them and the Plague Priest or, or the Grey Seer, I should say. 
as they take on the what's left of the force or the massive force of the beastmen of course got to keep a keen eye on these minotaurs regiment of renown as they come back into individual view they're going to be punching in to all these helping abominations and really locking them down going to be able, not, not going to be able to really charge around here unfortunately for the skaven and i believe that uh after a little bit of a give and go here probably going to be the skaven coming out on bottom of the beastmen top as uh, this one is officially over now too much breaking too much early uh, early destruction and that game happened really really fast i feel like incredibly fast actually you know just taking a quick look at the battlefield you can see from the dead bodies that the front line actually did go in favor of the skaven and they were able to push through there but i think that it was really at the behest of their flanks as uh, once the flanks went down for the skaven that le that led into the complete collapse of their back line and that's all the destruction that you can see over here and unfortunately for the skaven the beastmen are going to come out this one victorious let's see what the kill counts were looking like though as uh imagine the beastmen putting up with their gore herds actually and their senegors here triple digits on all of those units pretty damn good not much though on the uh, on the minotaurs regiment right now which is kind of interesting uh but they did get to survive the match nonetheless so they could survive to fight another battle on the other side what do we see we see the helmet abominations plus the grace here uh putting up a few numbers but other than that not much a very disappointing result from the plague monks and sparrows here as well that was regiment right now pick and uh, and also the storm the storm council as well unfortunately just not taking their weight into this battle and at the end of the day the beastmen will come out on top i'll see you in the next one take care